struck midnight just yet, and there's still plenty of action from today that we need to bring you. Yeah, that's right. We're going to keep our all-day team coverage going. Oh, we can hear it out there. Julia Richardson, she's downtown right there near the festival grounds right now. So, Julia, how did the first day go? What are you hearing out there from attendees? Well, Eric and Rachel, I think overall the first day was a huge success. You can see we're inside the festival still now. There's still a lot of people behind me, actually. Parker McCollum is in the middle of the set right now. That is the main stage headliner for tonight. Everyone's filing out, but the night is still pretty young here at CCMS. Now, the crowd definitely has continued to grow as the night has gone on. Attendees enjoyed artists like Oliver Anthony and Larry Fleet. There have also been a lot of photo opportunities, karaoke, and cornhole. I talked with fans who have come from all over. Some are here with their friends and others from multiple, with multiple generations of their family. I spoke with one couple who say they go to a lot of country concerts, but this is their first year at CCMF. Listen to what they had to say about their experience so far. We, we just did Rock the Country. We go to uh, Tim McGraw next weekend. So we travel, we love and we enjoy the country music. So always on the go. It's the first day. But I think it's amazing. I think it's, a it's really good. Steep, but it's, it's a but it is it's amazing. They put it together really well. And we will continue to have live coverage all weekend long on CCMF. This is only the first day, so stay tuned for much, much more from us on WMBF News. For now, live at CCMF, Julia Richardson, WMBF News. All right, Jim.